What's up, guys? Welcome to this episode where we're going to dive into the Waluigi Cup, which is the second week's ranked cup in the Yoshi Tour. Hopefully everyone did all right in their Yoshi Cup last night. Um, hopefully you got placed high enough to be able to get your blue Yoshi and your rubies and your points on cap tickets. Uh, but now we got to focus on this week's ranked. So we'll go through race by race. This is going to be an episode where we're going to talk a little bit more about um, the calculator, how to use it. It's going to be more of a tutorial, I guess. Maybe you're new to the channel um, or uh, aren't very familiar with this uh, calculator that we have. If you're not familiar with it, go ahead and uh, click the link in the description of this video. It's got uh, a link to the Google Sheets Mario Kart predictor. And uh, you can save a copy of it and change all the values in it. And we'll go over that in this episode uh, to help you predict how many points that you can get with your current loadout and then compare it to the, uh, your competition and see if you need to spend any tickets or if you can save your tickets for next week's tour. So we'll just dive right in. We got SNES Donut Plains 2RT here. And once again, second week in a row where I don't have a top shelf driver. However, I was fortunate enough last week to pull White Yoshi, so he helped me out. I'm not sure that I'm going to be pulling for Black Birdo. Um, I've got a couple of free pulls. I'm not banking on that happening, um, but we'll have to see. So in this particular case, you'd obviously want to pick someone that has two items per item box that you get on the course. I would recommend if you have Nabbit, he's a lucky seven driver, or if you have Mario Hakama, he's a coin box driver, they're going to be the two drivers that are going to give you the most points uh, because of the extra actions that you'll get uh, by playing them. For carts, I was lucky. I've got one high-end cart here, which is the steel driver. And then I've got a level three Mario Kart super glider here. So let's take a look at the Mario Kart Tour race score predictor. So up here we've got the name of the course that I've put in there. You gotta put in your player level, um, at level 146 right now. And let's see here. I've played this course in another cup in this tour and had a pretty good run. I'm gonna add a few more actions to that run for a total of 90. I'm thinking it's pretty easy to keep combo on this, but with the low levels of loadouts, uh, I think we're gonna get about 56 bonus points per action. Um, and if we take a look, Okay, so we've got a high-end driver. They're all high-ends. The levels is gonna be the important part here. So we're gonna change all these guys to high-ends. Now, since for the driver, we don't have top shelf, we're just gonna go ahead and put a zero in there, but we do get to count his base points of 980. For the cart, we had the steel driver at level three. And I think 490, right? Yep. And then the glider we had at level three and 490 as well. So based on my current loadout and the actions and bonus points per action, looks like we can anticipate getting 14,006 or 700. Right there. So let's go ahead and move on to the next course, which is Sunset Wilds. Now, granted, it, I do have scores on here. The only reason that I have scores is because um, one day last week this was uh, Coins of Plenty. So I played each course with a top shelf driver, but then tried to keep the 
cart and glider level to the bottom shelf to keep the points down low so that by the time I entered into this cup, hopefully Nintendo sees the algorithm, maybe we can try and trick it a little bit. <laughs> And, uh, or the, the algorithm that Nintendo uses will take a look at my scores and maybe not place me against someone that has um, higher scores already. So these are very, very low scores. And looks like we'll probably use my level three gold shy guy here. So level three and 980. Mm, just have a level two cart here. Nothing's uncapped. And, ooh, we've got the Dry Bowser umbrella here, double uncapped points-wise, and level five. All right, so 3980. Oh, actually, let's take a look at the anticipated actions. I think I played this one before and I had a pretty good run. It was about 100 actions, but I think for grinding, I'll probably end up getting about 110 actions, and this one's a hard one to keep combo on, but with the, I don't think I did it with a level 5 glider. Originally I had about 43 bonus points per action, I'm going to put that up to 48, might be able to get 52. Seems like there's, it's kind of common based on the combination of how difficult the course is with like trying to keep combo and then your loadouts seems like common bonus points per action numbers are 48 52 56 62 and 70 so we're kind of on the low end here 48 maybe 52 I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick with 48 just to be conservative and we had driver here and the cart was level 2 at 400 points and then yeah level 5 490 so some of these numbers are left over from last tour so we're just going through and resetting the numbers looks like we can get about 17 thousand or so Maybe 18,000 points here, which isn't too shabby. Now, let's come back. And this is going to be the heavy hitter. This is the one that everyone's going to be getting lots of points on. So, got lots of options here. Um, I'm going to... Let's go ahead and start out with the highest level one. But I have Birdo Light Blue here. She's level 6 at 765, and got a level 6 high-end cart that's double uncapped, and then a level 4 glider, single uncapped. So we're going to start out with these and see how many points we think we can get. Now, playing this before, I think we can get a few more actions, get about 175 is what I'm thinking, and since it's a trick track, play around 62 bonus points per action. It's easier to keep combo. We have a super driver at level 6, and she was uncapped once, then we had the Koopa King, level 6, 595, and then the Gold Crane, level 4, and 490. Is that right? Did I get all those? So 6, 765, 6, 595, 4, 490. Okay, so... Here we can, looks like we're going to get about 33,096 points. So some of you may have seen and been screaming at the 
at the phone at me saying, why wouldn't I use my coin box driver? Oh, actually, to tell you the truth, let's see here. Okay, my original 175 actions, that was based on a coin driver run. So if we're not using a coin driver, that action is, instead of 175 is probably going to be around 150. So let's put that in there because it'll be a little fairer. Because I'm anticipating playing the course until I have a couple of coin frenzies or a coin box frenzy and a couple of coin boxes. So there's going to be extra, extra actions there. All right. So with just the super driver, we're looking more at around 29, maybe 30,000. Okay, so now this is a, a good example to, to take a look at um, how the calculator can help us out. If we were to choose Bowser Santa, even though he's two levels lower, um, we'll see with those extra actions how he compares to a level six super driver. So we'll change this now to a high end. We're gonna put him at level four and base points of 980. But then the trick is you gotta put this back up to that 175. And here you can see there's about 2,300 points of difference by using Santa Bowser, even though he's at a lower level, he's going to give you more actions per run on a good run and thus give you more points overall. So um, we're going to go ahead and stick with that. And one other thing I wanted to show, so we'll go ahead and do this 31. So the other thing that we have uh, linked in the description below is our double and triple features uh, article, I guess you could say, or post on Reddit. One of the double features this week is, if you go here, okay. So Sunset Wilds has dry Bowser umbrella, which is already on the top shelf. Waluigi Pinball T. Originally, we were thinking of using the Gold Crane, which is a coin plus uh, special skill, which is great. However, if you come over here, you can see that at level six, this dry Bowser umbrella unlocks in this Waluigi Pinball T course. So, due to the fact that it's a double feature, when I get this to level six, I think I'm going to put the three tickets on him to get him to level six and have a level six glider in two of the three courses. So, we'll come back here and put this guy to six, and he was double uncapped gives us another 2,700. So now we're up to 34,000, which is good. But now we have to come back over here to this race, Sunset Wilds, and we're gonna put him at six. So now we've filled out the three race tabs. We can come here to the last tab, which is the cup predictor. Looks like we've got so the 14,000 on the first one, 18,000 on the second one, and then about 34,000 for the third. That gets us to 67,500 about. So now what we got to do is come back here and take a look at our competition. Ooh, okay. So guy that's currently in first place is he's got 67,000 um, 67,670 
So it looks like, you know, just as long as we're going to have to keep an eye on him over the next couple of days um, and see if he, you know, gets another five or 10,000 points, which hopefully won't be the case. Um, I don't anticipate him doing a whole lot more. So I think we got a good shot for going into first and putting level up tickets, oops, on that dry Bowser umbrella, I think is a smart move. It's a good, it's got a good uh, assortment of tracks. I think it'll be really useful. So the only thing I'm considering doing is I might take Santa Bowser up to level five and possibly double uh, base points on Capham. So it'd only be five more tickets and I've got 19. So let's see, if we were to put him to level five, what does that do over here? Okay, so that puts us at 69,000. Then if we wanted some cushion, thing is, is he's my favorite player of the entire game. Um, he's the only Bowser alternate that's come out so far, so I was really excited when he came out during Christmas time, and I have no problem putting tickets on him. So we could get in the 70,000, 71, maybe even 72,000 range. So I think we'll, we'll probably use some tickets, um, but should be interesting to see kind of what happens over the next couple days with the competition. So with that, I'll go ahead and end the video. Looks like I've got three freebies. So we should see if we can get black, the Birdo Black, which would help me in the Donut Plains 2RT this week. All right. We do them from reverse order. Let's do it this way. So here goes our first one. Got the baby buggy. And second free pipe. Is it gonna be gold? No. Ha! Bitty Buggy again. Okay. And the very last one. Is it going to be another Bitty Buggy? Three in a row? Baby Mario. Okay. Alright, so no Black Birdo, but that's okay. I think we still should, should be alright for this week's Ranked. So, let me know if you have any questions about the uh, calculator in the comments. Um, there have been quite a few people that I think have been using it and it's been helping them out making decisions as far as what courses to focus on, what courses to put tickets on, and I think it's helping some, some people uh, get a little bit higher in their rank scores. So good luck to you and may the frenzies be forever in your favor.